Welcome to the hospital on New Alexandria. There's a banshee through coming through the doorway, so you know this is a speedrun. I'm RC Master, and this is the legendary world record speedrun, 8 minutes 34 seconds by me. Now, if you know anything about speedrunning New Alexandria, obviously it involves that hospital skip. Now, on most levels, you'd get these couple of banshees coming from the south over to the left there, where I'm looking just right now. But the problem is when you get to legendary difficulty, the falcon that those two banshees are chasing gets killed far too quickly. And so the banshees that you are, could usually hijack very easily go speeding off into the distance and they're impossible to hijack. So unfortunately that means I have to go search for another one. Strangely enough on Mythic, with legendary all skulls on, the combination of the Mythic and the Tilt skull actually makes it so that in fact, mostly just the mythic skull makes it so that that falcon does survive and you can hijack those one of those banshees. But legendary, no such luck. They just die. So I'm actually I'm losing a little bit of time here compared to sort of heroic and the other difficulties. I have to try and find one of these banshees here. Found one here. Pull off the craziest stunt you'll ever see. Mid-air hijack. Oh, you have no idea how hard that is. Like... There are some people that apparently can do it with ease, but for, like that was really hard for me. Getting that part of the rundown was probably the hardest bit of this. Most of New Alexandria, if you know it, is basically luck. Past a certain point, past about sort of um, 12, 13 minutes. If you get it faster than that, it's all down to luck. It's all down to what order you get the main objectives in, what side objectives you get. If you have a sort of a minimum level of skill, it's just luck by that point. Obviously, I have that minimum level of skill, and I'm crazy enough to put in enough time to get the right outcomes. Managed to get this 8 minute 34 second run out. Now, I shoot the right wing off the back there, so that I could actually fit it through the doorway. Don't really need the left one, because as you saw, as I was spiraling down, anti-clockwise, down those stairways, that wing didn't really affect it. Hit the jammer. Get back into the Banshee. This is the famous... Banshee hospital teleporting trick. You have to be back inside the Banshee because then that makes the game think that you're outside again. And then once you've hit that point, you get teleported outside. Now, now I've said this like a thousand times on all of my New Alexandria speedruns. It has to be one of the first two objectives to get that teleporter out. You can still go in with the Banshee. If it's your last objective, the last of the three, but you cannot come out. The doors will lock as soon as you get back into that banshee, and if you don't get teleported out, because the area is getting despawned so it can load other areas of the map, then you just get stuck inside there. So it has to be the first one or two. Now in speedruns, you usually want to get it out of the way, and on the lower difficulties, of course, there's definitely that banshee that's flying right next to the spawn point that you can pick up. This hunter side mission is one of the best ones you can get in a speedrun because actually you don't need to kill the hunters, you can actually just kill your allies and that saves you a lot of time having to wait for this pelican to fly all the way up the building and pick up the troopers. And the bonus is that it's right next to the Virant Tower so you can go straight on and start killing those shade turrets, killing the guys coming out of that door. And then they're still sort of loading and stuff and trying to figure out what the hell they're doing with the last objective and you're already like right there. So I hop out, all the enemies dead. Doors open. Now obviously when I was more timid, I would use a jetpack on this section. I would go into the middle, drop down, there's one sort of at the back of the area. But obviously it gets faster to just sprint through. You've got to jump there to go over the fuel rod gun. Whoops, didn't mean to run into that. Up these stairs. And you can still get shot while you're going up these stairs, but it's fairly rare. So, the second side objective of two. The way I do it is I sort of 
rays up it towards the middle and try and look around for any of the telltale signs of one of them spawning. So sometimes you'll see phantoms rising up out of the mist, or you might actually just spot them on a rooftop somewhere, depending on which side objective it is. This one's a fairly easy one, because it's just a very quick destroy mission, just fly once around it. You lose a little bit of time, I guess, having to fly all the way over there and all the way back. Probably the best combination would be that one near Virant with the Hunters, you just kill the allies, and then the one where there's some shade turrets blocking a pelican from flying off. Those would be the optimal two. But since there's like 12 side missions in like three or four different categories, it's actually a real pain to try and get that sort of outcome. Obviously since the hospital's already done, a Virant is done. All that's left is Synovia. Come up through these little rafters. Even on Legendary, you don't need to worry about those guys shooting. Very, very occasionally a brute will come up to the top of the stairs and start of throwing grenades, but doesn't look like he is this time, so that's good for me. Area's still loading, so I have to actually wait by the door still crazy as that is. Epic Halo elevator music. Synovia, as you probably know, is also very, very simple. Just sprint straight through it. Days gone by on Legendary Old Skulls on, I would use a camo here. You're close to the jammer. Destroy it. Or try and string together sprints, but... Legendary got shields, there's a health pack right next to the door, no problem. It's a trap. Get the hell out of there. Oh, I still got my shields this time. That's pretty okay by my book. Return to your Falcon and stand by for instructions. Now we're very close to the end here, just have to kill the enemies around the Olympic Tower. The only HQ. I've got something stuck in my Falcon there. Falcon's on fire, don't need to worry too much about that. This is probably the best angle to come from because you can shoot this phantom rising up here. And if you kill it, obviously you kill two shades at once. Which means you've only got four left to kill. It takes some effort to do. But even if you kill it only just after it drops the first one, you know, you still save time. And I've killed that before it's even dropped once, that's two in one there. And then there's just a couple more. You're gonna have to move around because the other one from that phantom isn't even actually dropped yet. This is the problem with being too fast in games sometimes. I have to wait for the game to catch up to where you are. So I'm trying to long range snipe them as I sort of back up so I can still be in a good position for the next one. And that's one is just about dropped. And you don't need to worry about any of the Banshees here. They all bug out after you've killed the Shade Turrets anyway. Flaming Falcon. This is the world record, as I said. Legendary. There's a couple of places you could save time. Uh, getting the Banshee at the very start and maybe getting a better side seat. That's it. I'm RC. Hope you enjoyed it. Here's some other videos you might enjoy. I'll see you next time.